So hi guys, uh, in last section we learned how the QML context property works. So now in this lecture we are talking about uh, how to register the C++ class uh, in QML engine. So it will be visible to the <coughs> QML side, but that time I am using the QML register type a property which is provided by the Q object of uh, Qt. So let's get started. So first we create one project here. New project. So we select the Qt quick, and uh, the name of this project is uh, uh, QML register type. So I'm selected the version, and we selected the kit. Uh, you can select any of them. So this is our project. So now, first of all, what we need to do here? First, we need to create one class that uh, we register in and cpp and that after that we use that class in qml and now create the different different object in qml let's show you so first we create one class so now select the q object and name of that class is register class object okay so this is the class name now we created this class so what we need to do here just to be created one property, so we can use uh, this property to QML side. So let's get started. First, we create the property, and here we add the Q string type. <clears throat> what the property name is title. Okay, so let's generate uh, property, and just I'm adding the public slots here. Uh, public slots. Okay, and uh, one private access specifier. So now we did it all. So what we need to just uh, regenerate this property and uh, now it's uh, done and let's initialize this variable uh, so its name so i given here uh, empty just empty object okay so we'll set on a uh, runtime or so now i'm created this class now what we need to do so register this class in here so I'm just import one uh, Qt QML. Okay. So I included the header file. Now what we need to do here is include the header files of that class include. So this is the name of register class object. And now the class name here, register class object. And now this one, register object okay so what one thing you need to do uh, remember here so you need to create the object which is started from the capital letter okay so now is register this register types so such a register type qml register type so here you got this now what you need to do first uh, we put the type casting here or we creating the object which type like it's work like a stl so where we template is okay so we put here uh, the object which is the type of that and now what we need to do here it is taking the four argument uh, which is i told you which one uh, so first one taking the argument uh, in which uh, object you want to create okay so like include the header files of that. So we create header file of the register object. I was similar object which is created here. We include here. So we said the provide the object name. Okay. And here we provide the major and minor version. Okay. So I provided that. So what is this? This is the uh, this is uh what? This is uh, we provide here uh the name of that class and here the major and this is the minor number and i provided here so what is the qml register type class not the problem is here so what i'm doing right now maybe if there is you want to start qml register type so uri and uh, the mass major minor number QML name and the region okay and so i'm not uh, adding the region i think it's uh, all provided i have 
so you may rest at night so there is no need uh, to create anything hope this will work anything wrong here i don't think so let's run i see what the problem is with this oh, 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 okay so problem is uh, there is the type so what we need to do here is implement this register type object no it's not then uh, it's when you set like that Okay, I think we are printing very high the integer not providing in care is the integer. Okay. So now it's gone. Yeah. Now we can have to run. We missed the point. So now it's uh, working. Now it's register. Now what uh, we need to do here. How to import that? So first we import that library and major minor number. Now what we need to do here? Just I'm uh, using that uh, object. Okay. So how to use this? You can use this like uh, Qt component. Okay. So I place here the Qt register object and creating this like component. I'm providing the ID some ID like object one. Okay. And now I'm creating also the rest register object id2 object2 okay so i'm created object1 object2 so we can also access their property in here so which are name of the title so as title is visible here so title i am putting here are this thing okay and now object2 title is uh, qstr la here what we do the qt register type object okay so the are bit we are i'm creating the two objects so just import the layout layout uh, 1.3 so i'm like using the column uh, row layout and uh, anchor dot center in parent okay and parent and we use the button uh, okay we need to also import the control here so we use control here so we're using the button so what we need to do create uh, i'm creating two buttons uh, button one and text should be qstr uh, object one okay so similarly i create another object two okay so here i'm using one click which is the inbuilt signal of qml on click the so i am also using the symbol so what do we need to do here like i am setting the title of the window i'm naming this uh, as a root component so root uh, dot title okay so i am what here, root dot title equal to object two dot title okay similarly here what i do object one dot title so now it will work let's see how it will work different different object we created two object there is one two buttons like if i am clicking the button one so it will change the other string of the hello window title okay if i am creating the like pressing the button object two it will uh, cute register type object so you will see here it will work it so uh, the difference between the uh, QML register type and uh, QML uh, uh, like context property is that you can create here the multiple object of that uh, class, but you cannot create uh, like in context property, you cannot create the multiple object. Okay, you just create the single object of that class and use all the QML files. But here also, you need to remember like I'm uh, like adding one more files uh, in Qt modeling files. So which is the uh, another uh, QML? Okay, so I added this. Uh, what I'm adding here? Let, let's say um, I'm adding the label. Okay, 
uh, not label okay so first we import the control here so control okay i added the control and now i'm adding the label label anchor dot uh, center in parent okay so what i'm here text and in single context property you can directly use this register type uh, and dot uh, title something but here you cannot use this here you need to create separate uh, object or you can pass this object like i'm creating one property uh, like property type this one and the name of the property object okay so i'm object and here we are assigning the null of null value to this and what we need to do here we can use object for title okay so how to use this well we need to pass this uh, like a uh, register object okay so what we need to do i'm going to the qml and what here we need to do i'm using the another another qml so this is the component which is i created so i'm uh, putting some names like object object uh, qml okay so i'm I created the ui and now which property i created we can set here so register type object object to what we need to put here like creating the or putting this uh, another object okay so i'm putting the object to okay so similarly this is the ob object too but it will be visible but uh, what we need to do here so i am uh, like visible false but if i am pressing this like i am pressing this uh, uh, so what we need to do uh, just i'm um, removing this and dot dot visible true okay just uh, i'm uh, if i am clicking the object to it will be visible true property that so let's see how it will work so let's see object uh, register type is not a type because what uh, i am doing here wrong because i am not imported the library of that so we need to all the files we need to include that library after that we can use this uh, object so what we need to just import that library like 1.0 so which is register in so each and every file so what we need now you can check uh, it will successfully run now i'm clicking the object to it is saying uh, like looking here look, uh, but not seeing after let's make the changes uh, so what we need to do anchor dot fill i am here playing that button anchor dot fill parent okay so let's again run object to oh yeah it's showing mm -hmm. every time font dot pixel size font dot pixel size 50 is 55 and anchor dot horizontal center parent okay and parent horizontal center okay and anchor dot top parent top anchor dot top margin required some margin like uh, 50 okay so let's see if it is clear visible or not look here this this is the qml rested type so thank you guys well. let's see in next lecture how the singleton provider will work okay so bye bye thank you